Welcome to a video where I rank the top 10 dumbest choices PopCap has made. This can range to just about anything PopCap has done. This ranking will obviously be done by the intensity of the stupidity PopCap has done. This video will cover just about every PvZ game. Without any more to talk about, let's jump right into the topic. The first one on our list, number 10. We have the simplest one actually. It's when PopCap allowed EA to buy the company. This is just a fan picked placement in my opinion mixed together because although EA may have made PVZ a cash grab, they're also responsible for every PVZ game to release after the original. The creator of PVZ, George Fan, said that he did not want a PVZ sequel. I despise the whole EA bad popcap good thing. They both have made bad choices. Do I think that this was the right choice? EA purchasing PopCap and firing George Fan was the right decision. Otherwise, we wouldn't get our beloved Garden Warfare games. Number 9 really belongs to PVZ2, specifically the shitty microtransactions that PopCap put in the game. You don't have to buy a single plant to beat the game, but man, it gets really tiring after trying to beat all of the worlds. You guys might add on that it was EA's request to put an in-app purchases in PVZ2. While that is partially true popcap chose to put in the insane prices into the plants only when pvz2 was an idea popcap fired george fan for being held against the idea of in-app purchases so after proving the microtransactions are popcap doing let me tell you why they are awful there are plenty of plants in pvz that cost money but at least 10 of the old plants from pvz1 cost five bucks people are actually willing to pay for this it's already stupid enough to think someone is going to pay five bucks for the chopper but when it actually works it gets even more insane only idiots that have white parents are willing to pay the price number eight is the shady garden warfare one leveling up system where you have to complete a specific thing to get close to leveling up after reaching level 10 the stuff they make you do is so specific that you have to go out of your way to do it instead of playing it for fun it's pretty simple sometimes like eject three beam bombs or swallowing five zombies however You'll get shit like vanquish three sunflowers without being KO'd. What the f- What the fuck is this shit, PopCap? Come on! Of course, no one got Unicorn Chopper. I believe if Garden Warfare had the same leveling up system as the sequel, 100 times more players would have gotten Unicorn Chopper. Because it's that fun to earn just by playing. It feels like- It feels extremely rewarding that there's nothing else to do, but just- God, PopCap, this is the worst choice you've made for the shooters. PVZ Heroes take 7th place because of the seasonal system. They don't even progress anymore, they completely remove them. PopCap as a company does not understand their games aren't dead, they still have an active fan base. So when you add a cap to a seasonal update, you just seem like a really awful person. Fix your game PopCap, you are driving your fans away for seemingly no reason. PVZ Heroes is your only game where there is actual online play, at least on mobile. This actually does not solve any problems, you just drive your fans away from your game if you can't actually progress in it anymore. There was no reason that you couldn't just put a season cap at infinity. My closest evidence supporting this is season 60. It's just like, the number seems way too suspicious. Number 6 is the BFN marketing. PopCap was so confused why the game failed after releasing it the same day the trailer dropped. They did not allow the game to stockpile up at GameStop or build any hype. Also, it should not take the studio more than two months to make a single character as well. PopCap, you have learned your mistake from this decision, but you have made one of the dumbest mistakes in gaming history. Garden Warfare 1 and 2 had hype build up for the games. They made us wait months until we finally got to play which was a good decision in the long run. For a game to do well, you gotta show some sort of gameplay footage, new content, anything that wasn't in the previous games that could catch your eyes. But I guess you guys just threw in a bunch of bullcrap because you are money hungry. Oh yeah, and I'm not talking about EA. I'm talking about the company that created the memories. This game fucking suck. Number five is the cancellation of Project Alta. Okay, PopCap, it isn't really your fault that you canceled what could have been the bestseller. That was Mr. Moneymaker over here. But they made the Garden Warfare team try to recreate it as a third person shooter. What the f were you thinking? They canned your studio so hard for this. PopCap, you have canned your studio so hard for this decision. They made a third person shooter heavily focused around PvE. That's a horrible plan. They should have made it like Garden Warfare 2, where the story takes place in the hub. Which again, 
Giddy Park is not a reliable source of story, which is the studio's fault for the design. Play for the multiplayer, not story and garden warfare. The fact that Giddy Park is the most fun part about BFN is baffling. You tried so hard to make PvE work and it failed. They clearly were focused on making money instead of being passionate, unlike Hot Tub was trying to do. Number four is the addition of the Brainy Ambassador. This is by far one of the most toxic things PodCap has done in the game. I swear, this upgrade single-handedly ruined people's lives. And and I don't I don't mean the people that have to fight against it. I mean the people that use it. People that use Brainy Ambassador have the saddest lives ever. But you can't really feel bad for them because of how terrible they are. People that main Brainy Ambassador, I, I pray for you very dearly. Your life is filled with void and there is no substance. Popcap, Brainy Ambassador is the worst thing you've done to a playable game. Also, I think more people would enjoy if you would put Iceberg Lettuce instead of Brainium in the game. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Number three. PopCap has ignored the community and that is why your studio sucks today. Here, I will just play you a GIF of what people think of the studio today. What is strange about this is that you played the community in the teaser trailer for PBZ2. Francis is my favorite entry in there, don't tell anyone that. But now you completely ignore us. Listen, PopCap, your ego is not that big. PopCap also never nerfed Brainy Ambasher, which was requested very frequently. PBZ3 is the best possible example for this situation. It's pretty self-explanatory. Also, PopCap has been making EA do the hard work to fix their games. Listen, PopCap, is it your game or EA's? You're making EA seem like the good guy. Number two is insanely stupid with the achievements that you couldn't get anymore. The fact that Rando Rapids Revenge is in there instead of Spooky Squash really hurts. Also, we need community challenges, boss hunts, and cats versus dinos back. These game modes hold seven locked achievements. I kid you not, seven. Seven. You cannot get these anymore because they are no longer in rotation. And I only think to myself, why? You made Garden Warfare 1 and BFN 100% But why not the best game out of the three? People tell me that BFN is better because you can actually 100% that. I say, you know what, maybe they're right. As a person who makes it a goal to complete all of my games, BFN is better, but it's not. Garden Warfare 2 is simply the more fun game. It's just a shame you can't actually complete it. Number one. PopCap, this is possibly the dumbest thing you have ever done. This plan is so outright horrible because you simply can't fit in. PvZ3 is a horrible idea. The game itself is very bad. Its art style is sickeningly similar to Garden State, which is a game you guys know I'm not too happy with. Let's see here. You made a third installment to a 14 year old game, a tutorial. It feels like the game makes it way too easy for you throughout the whole game. What happened in PvZ2? I thought that game was insanely difficult. PopCap, you can make PvZ look better without making it too out of place. Keep using your own art style, please. If you release PvZ3 in the state that it's in, your franchise will die. You have tried this with BFN and it didn't work out. You have tried this with old PvZ3 and it didn't work out. We the fans have suffered for years knowing how much you've fallen. Cycle them out. I don't actually care if your new games suck. I only play your shooters and knowing you won't fix them doesn't change anything. You're a dumb company with a dumb father that makes dumb decisions. And that would be the end of this top 10 video. If you'd like the part where I mourn Brainy Ambassador mains or anything else, you should like, comment, and consider subscribing. Don't miss out on any videos I upload every 48 hours. Goodbye, viewers.